Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SQBG. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time, Frampton has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. I did this analysis on Thursday, and as Friday has now closed out, definitely a lot of updates need to be done. So a whole lot of uh, progress was made on the chart today. And uh, a very nice move. I mean, the move started, as I talked about in the video from Thursday, with the late day bounce here. And then today definitely got continuation. I'm just going to go ahead and use this green line for a near term level. Sure, this level down to the dollar fifty five still pertains to the chart. It's just not relevant anymore. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't want to risk causing confusion and clutter because there's lines everywhere. So let's make mapping this out as clean as possible. First area of support going into next week is what I would call the ideal support at a dollar ninety. Meaning, if you say, "Hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward?" and that would be if the price can stay up above a dollar ninety. Now, don't get me wrong; if the price falls below a dollar ninety, I'm not saying the entire charts destroyed or ruined or anything like that but yeah if the price could manage to stay up above there that would definitely be a huge sign of power taking a step back and looking at things from more so the big picture point of view that is where the purple line there comes into play the famous 50 period simple moving average keyword being moving as time goes by that line is going to move itself higher and higher so the very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move that right there being defined as the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full strength. How are you gonna best visualize that? That is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above a dollar ninety, that would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that uh, purple line, then the bulls 100% own the chart. What about areas of resistance? Two main ones going into next week. The first one is more of a, a shorter term level, and that's right there around $2.12, kind of a random area, but for whatever reason, uh, two times in a row this afternoon, that's right where the price got rejected. If the price can break up through 212, next key overall level is just where the party stopped on a couple of different occasions today, right up around $2.28. All in all though, great movement, great volume, and I'm sure there's gonna be, still be plenty of eyeballs on this one on Monday, so we'll see if the bulls can continue to build upon this momentum or not. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.